I was born in Newport News, Virginia, but I grew up in Tucson, Arizona. Christina, as a child, was always engaged and interested in almost anything we did and participated. I was in 4-H, I was a Girl Scout, I did horseback riding. Um, when I got into high school, I did cheerleading, I danced. My career in engineering was something that was prevalent in the household all the time that exposed Christina to stuff. She helped me uh, string a mile of barbed wire fence one summer, and she uh, was probably, I don't think she was five or six, but she said, could she move the truck? And I foolishly didn't think about the fact it was a stick shift truck, and she went over in the truck and she turned the key while the truck was in gear and moved it along a few feet because it never started, but she moved it along each time and had no incidents whatsoever. She was fearless. Engineering was always on my radar screen. I went to the University of Arizona. We actually met at a local microbrewery, and it was one back in the, when, at the time that we just started in our professions right out of school. Uh, it was one where a lot of the local engineering companies, everybody would go on, on Friday nights. We got married in May of 1998 here in Las Vegas at one of the local golf clubs. Christina is a fun-loving person. And she's very creative in how she has fun. And no matter what situation or who she's with. And she tries something like Extreme Circus Boot Camp. You know, next thing you know, she's really enjoying it and she's getting more into it. And she's doing aerial acrobatics and, and, and really just not only for her developing, but also with the friends that she makes doing these things. You know, they say do something every day that scares you. And I can tell you when you're doing aerial acrobatics, things scare you. And, I'd sometimes tell my coaches, no. <laughs> they tell me to do that, I said, no. <laughs> and then they figure out a way to work me through it and um, so that I can do it. And today I'm doing things that I never thought I would be able to do two years ago. I'm a program manager at the City of Las Vegas in the Public Works Department. It's a really big challenge here where we, we can provide places for people to live and to work and to shop, but we also have to keep in mind how do we make those spaces livable where they can also walk, bike, use the bus, but get where they want to and not be forced to drive a car. She is very much uh, someone who tries to build consensus. She's someone who is strictly following the rules, which I respect, and she's someone who's very positive and really uh, wants to try to make everything and make everybody uh, as powerful to their own potential. Love. I love the younger members. <laughs> they're so fun, there's so much energy there. I, I joke that they haven't kicked me out yet. <laughs> they're very nice. <laughs> but um, it's, it's, they're just a great group and, there's, and you're always learning. I shadowed her on her DC trip at the fly-in and I, we got to meet senators and talk about infrastructure funding. So that was a life-changing experience for me as it ex it's, it's inspired me to become more engaged in our profession. Christina was president in 2003-2004. She was president of the Junior League of Las Vegas. It's an organization here in town that is com committed to promoting volunteerism, developing the potential of women. The Junior League is working uh, with a homeless shelter here in town. She is very much very much committed to wanting to make her community a better place. I think Christina really cares. Uh, she doesn't do anything half-hearted. She's dedicated, passionate, is always very involved. Christina really embodies what a professional is. One of the important roles that she has being a leader with ASCE, she knows what it's about, she knows how to advance the profession, and she's willing and fully capable to do it. Being the president, she may be able to expose many younger people in the audience to the opportunities to communicate and grow. She is probably the right person at the right time. Christina has that gift to bringing along people with her. I spent three years working in Washington, D.C. for a United States Senator, and I really enjoyed that work. But during that time, I wasn't very engaged with civil engineers and um, ASCE. And I didn't realize how that impacted me until I got back. And um, well, you're seeing how it's impacting me. I got back to ASCE and back to civil engineering and just realized, like, this is my home. 
These are my peeps. Um, I love being a civil engineer and I love working with all of our members and my colleagues just to make our community better. We are an incredible profession. Christina will be the kind of president she's been in every other organization she's been involved in. Very involved, very passionate, very dedicated. You will not wonder where she stands on the issues. She will be a force to be reckoned with. She's a leader and I think this is a good opportunity for her to shine. This is going to be fabulous. She'll be fabulous.